Hi, I'm Aaron Smith with The Division, and today we're going to look at the Green Screener app from Pear Homes of HollywoodCameraWork.us. Um, it's a really cool app that helps you get really evenly lit green screen, and the way it does this is it creates banding uh, through your iPhone, iPad, or Android device uh, camera, and you use that to evenly light your green screen and uh, get really awesome keys. So we had a chance to check this out on a recent shoot that we were doing for a short film that should be up shortly for you guys to watch called There Goes the Neighborhood. Anyway, so here's a little bit of BTS stuff and our tests with the green screener app. Enjoy. As long as you know the rules, you can break them. Thank you, Professor Stack. The app that we're using is called uh, Green Screener, and it's uh, it's made by uh, Pear Homes of uh, Hollywood camera work fame. We're actually using a blue screen because we're going to be keying um, uh, Sam, who's dressed up as a Slee Stack, uh, which is a, uh, a green uh, monster character from Land of the Lost. And he's, he's dressed in his combination Slee Stack Iron Man outfit because he's going to be portraying an alien in our short film. What this does is it creates banding on the, uh, on the screen and that's gonna give you an idea of the exposure because it's really important to have an even exposure on your chroma, uh, be it green, blue, whatever, uh, or red if you're shooting the Muppets. I could have a cape if we got some fabric. Why not? <laughs> really? Aliens are regal. What if my people are a regal society and, and we all have capes? Okay. So we're using again the, the green screener app. Um, we've got our shot set up with Sam. We have our blue screen lit and we've got Sam lit for the shot. And according to this, and this is the first time we've used this app, so we are noobs on this app, but it looks like we're gonna get a really good key here. So we're doing this before and then afterwards we'll take a look at the post process and we'll see just how well this worked. This is really freaking cool, actually. Okay, so here we are in After Effects with the footage that we just shot. We're gonna start off testing the final shot that we were on just a moment ago, looking through the Green Screener app. And all I've done is brought this in, dropped it into a comp, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, garbage mat out all of this. And I am going to do the one-click wonder test, as I like to refer to it. Uh, I've got key light, 1.2, 1.3 was just not available, darn it. And I'm going to click somewhere here near the subject. And voila. So this is always deceptive when you first do this. Um, it'll look remarkably good, but until you actually look at a mat, you can't really get a good idea of just how good of a key you pulled. So we're going to jump in and look at the screen mat. And I got to say, that is pretty freaking remarkably nice. Um, see a few things here, but this is stuff that conveniently we can actually just um, garbage mat out. We've got a shot here of Sam as Slee Stack Iron Man touching imaginary buttons, something that Sam does normally. And we'll key this here. And again, that's uh, pretty darn close to a one-click wonder. And again, keep in mind, we're shooting this on a 70. So we're dealing with chroma subsampling that's 420, which is not optimal for green screen or blue screen. So to have an app that costs $10 compared to what it costs for a hardware waveform monitor or even some of the software solutions, uh, even if, you know, side by side comparison, this did just as good of a job, it would be worth it to, to go ahead and, and, and get the app. However, to my eye, having worked with hardware waveform monitors on HD cams, using the exact same software, exact same plugins, I've got to say, uh, I, I typically am manipulating clip black and clip white a heck of a lot more uh, to get those to key cleanly. And this, I barely had to do anything. So, I don't know, on balance, I would say I would definitely recommend this. You can go to hollywoodcamerawork.us that's uh, Parahome's website. 
Uh, he's got a lot of really cool things on there, and I should say I have no affiliation with him. Uh, there's no weird kickbacks or handshakes or anything. I've never even met the guy. But um, so far from what I've seen, I really like his products. And right now I'm playing with another app uh, that Pear Homes has designed uh, called Shot Designer, and I will have a review of that one up shortly. Uh, so far, playing around with it, having a lot of fun, and it's very, very easy to use, but I'll try to give a more detailed overview of that one. And uh, once again, this app is called Green Screener. It's available in the App Store or on Google Play. And just from this limited experience right here on this one shoot, I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Smith with The Division. If you like this video, uh, please click like below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and uh, tell us what you'd like us to review and what you'd like us to check out or talk about or really just tell us anything. Um, thanks.